do you guys get the like if he's being treated this way and he's the star of a huge show on disney like imagine how other kids are being treated who are not him i decided to piggyback off of the discussion that's happening around blake lively and ryan reynolds to talk about walker because just talking about walker on his own for some reason nobody was like getting it mm -hmm. you know what i mean like people were like oh well i'd rather hear that i didn't get a job because of puberty because that's at least not my fault and it's like no they're kind of saying it is his fault yeah. um, explicitly so his fault <laughs> Yeah, so, um, like, that's the, the, like, sense of what, like, I got in my comments. I know for you, it was, it was a little bit worse. People were a little more combative. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just interesting that, like, in order for people to get what was really going on with that weird statement, for whatever reason, making that statement about his voice dropping, about him getting too tall, and... I, when we first started discussing this, I had not watched the scenes with like the Deadpool variants. Like, so it makes even less sense when you consider that it wasn't like there was just a kid pool there and that was it. Like, it wasn't like there was one variant. No. <laughs> yeah. It so, was a scene where there was a bunch of them all at, all in one place. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> So there was literally no reason they couldn't have thrown him a costume, even with Blake and Ryan's children being in there. Mm -hmm. Especially since I found a friend of mine sent me an article last night that listed other people that were in that scene. And one of them was Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man, his brother, who was born in 1999. And I was like, oh, okay so you can put somebody else in this scene who's just a brother of somebody in marvel who probably did not memorize the entirety of deadpool 2 by the age of 11 mm -hmm. probably didn't do that <laughs> and you can put them in that movie when they're 10 years older than walker mm -hmm. but when it's walker nope it's because it's, it's his puberty and he has to apologize for growing up in interviews now that's so okay. stupid they put out that ridiculous statement about Walker that came out in Entertainment Weekly on August 5th. Mm -hmm. August 6th was the super weird, it ends with us like um, premiere where they were like sitting in different rooms and the two stars like didn't interact and they were never pictured together. And so I'm like, you guys literally like last minute panicked that people were gonna turn against you during all of this, which is what happened. And so you threw a literal child who worships you under the bus. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's so obvious when you look at that, that, that that was clearly like a last minute Hail Mary sort of thing to be like, don't blame us for this. It's totally the kid's fault. And and it's like, um, if anything, that this whole thing has proven just how much of like nepotism runs mm -hmm. Hollywood, because even though Walker is the star of Percy Jackson, he still got screwed over yeah because he has no nepotism he's not related to anybody famous he doesn't know anyone famous he lives in pennsylvania <laughs> like his family is not famous at all they're extremely normal people from a normal family they don't have connections with anybody he he like he had connections with the people who totally fucked him over <laughs> and so even though he had these connections in the end it didn't matter because he's not related to anybody who's famous. And I was just like, this is so gross. <laughs> yeah, and um, the, what adds to it for me too is because when I was trying to upload a clip onto our YouTube, I always end up watching a bunch of shorts and stuff while it's uploading to like, just stay on the app. And um, almost every single like Walker is Percy, but like interview clips, um has at least one or two clips of him doing a deadpool impression while he was on the adam project or doing press tours for the adam project so <laughs> ryan reynolds had no problem making baby walker do his little deadpool impression but when the time came for it we're not gonna do that no do you guys get the like if he's being treated this way and he's the star of a huge show on disney like imagine how other kids are being treated who are not him exactly and if he's being thrown under the bus this aggressively where he's 
being forced to answer questions about how he grew too much at D23, and which is what sent me into a rage in the first place, that somebody actually asked him about it, and he had to sit there and talk about it at all. Like, shut up. Why are you, why are you asking some, like, a 15-year-old kid about that? But it's just, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just how, like, it's how Hollywood and people in general treat kids that they just see them as like disposable or they don't like consider that they're their own people and like how you would feel if like something like that happened to you it was just like oh well yeah he's a kid so he grew too much so obviously he's not going to have the role and like from the beginning i was like i don't know why you're believing this anyway but even if you do believe this stupid statement that doesn't make any sense that's wildly inappropriate people are obsessing about old clips or just Blake Lively and, and Ryan Reynolds being incredibly tone deaf about domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, nobody has brought up the fact that they're straight up exploiting their children. Like, do you think a one-year-old or a seven-year-old had an actual choice about whether they wanted to be in this movie? Or yeah. like, if they want Taylor Swift to write songs with their name in it, so the entire world is like making up stories about them and their lives because they're in these songs? Like, no. There's absolutely no way that they that they had any role in that. Their children are making them part of their like promotional material. That's mm -hmm. fucked up on its own. <laughs> and everyone just like skips past that. And they're like, but she was a bitch to this actress once. And I'm like, what about her own kids? Yeah. Like if they're treating their own kids like that, I don't even want to think about the kind of stuff they would say to like child actors that they run into. Well, yeah, and, like, people get so weird over kids, like, Hollywood kids in particular, and we've seen that, like, we've seen a lot more of it, but in our lifetime, they've passed, like, laws where paparazzi can't target families and stuff like that, um, but a lot of those kids did not enjoy their time in the spotlight. It sounds very much like what Chapel Roan has been talking about, yeah, yeah. um, and so yeah like you're getting thrust into a world where that is your reality that is something that could happen to you people could try to figure out where you go to school um what what you know like soccer team you play on every fun thing can get taken from you because you're in the spotlight and you didn't choose that for yourself and they already have that factor as just the children as celebrities yeah and to be honest like that's kind of stuff has been happening to walker already where mm -hmm. Like people have been posting photos of him at his high school with like his high school name on it, which makes me want to panic every time I see one of those pop up on Instagram. They like posted photos of him doing just like high school activities. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, so what can this kid do when he's not filming if you're going to post where he goes to school? Yeah. And like he already doesn't have like the other day I saw this interview clip of him where he said that a fan texted him why do you have his phone number why 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 is that even out there how did they even find that why do they know that so it's like he already has people invading every aspect of his of his life mm -hmm. and now on top of it they're talking about just like normal developmental things in a very public space as well it's like every part of him that should be private is being exposed very publicly and there is no reason for any of it to be happening this way like you don't need to do this for him to be percy it would probably be a lot easier to act every day on set if he didn't open up his phone and have random strangers texting him asking for like a copy of the script exactly. <laughs> and, like other whatever other things we don't even know about is happening much less could be happening with the other kids as well though I'm sure that he gets like the brunt of it since he is like the star of the whole thing, but, but still like that's wild that this could even be happening and that there are adults that were like, yeah, it's fine that an adult is talking about a child's body. That's totally fine. That doesn't like bring up problems when abuse does happen. <laughs> like, you know, if abuse happens on set and you notice that somebody's being a fucking weirdo and they're commenting on a kid's body and you think that that's weird you might notice it faster like that might happen you might notice it faster if you notice that a, an adult talking about a kid's body is strange yeah but if, you, if you like let it go and 
argue with me for days that it's fine to talk about this stuff publicly and that puberty is not a dirty word. <laughs> That's not what our argument was. That was no, what it was. No one is saying that puberty is a dirty word. I want you to go online and talk about intimately about your puberty in front of a million people and then get back to me and see how you feel about that. Yeah, Those yeah. are two very different things, but it's more that the, like, the knee-jerk reaction from people is still to defend what the adults are doing. And I'm just like, that needs to somehow stop, and I don't know how. It's not my responsibility, but... It would make my life a lot easier if we, <laughs> if people finally stopped doing that because that's the kid is the one that needs the help. Yeah. Never, 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 never the adults. Ryan Reynolds is just fine. Yeah. Yeah. And with Walker and him going to a real high school, the worry for me as a mom, I, I always have to say this now because I'm closer in age or my son is closer in age to Walker than I am. So I do think of him like a baby child that could be mine. Um, yeah. But uh, when, when it comes to this age that he's at right now, um, when you think back like the Olsen twins, um, it was kind of a plot point on one of the shows. I don't remember which one, but um, that Spencer Pratt guy who was dating somebody dating somebody that was on reality tv and he went to high school with the olsen twins he would send pictures of them at parties to um to different like tabloids and stuff which like poor mary kate they couldn't even make teenage mistakes no they can't do anything yeah and so like with walker and leah especially um because they are kind of like 15 16 um and they're still high school age you know the other ones are kind of like adults enough um they're the ones that are going to get hit really hard if they do some of that teenage experimenting and especially leah especially leah yeah and i don't know how they couldn't because being under this sort of pressure would just make you need to do that even more because it's like you need to like let out some you need to have like a private life just mm -hmm. period you just need to have a private life that is not in the public like what chaperone was saying like this is like my public life but my public life is not me all the time they yeah. need to have some sort of identity outside of their public persona they can't be performing all the time Mm -hmm. you need that or else you're going to lose your mind and so if you're a teenager going through that yeah you should like do that sort of stuff like go out with your friends go to parties go to stuff like that without having to worry that if you do that somebody is going to post that stuff online and you're going to get in trouble with disney yeah you need to like be able to be around people enough to trust that that stuff won't leak online and like at this point i don't know how either one of them could believe that that would happen because everything has been leaking online at least on walker's end so many private things are just online and people aren't even seeing it as a problem they're just like posting it and thinking that it's funny and i'm like this is this is upsetting <laughs> i i just like watch them and i i feel like i'm their mom like you said because i i just remember how hard those years are when i didn't have any of this stuff going on like when he tried out for percy jackson he was on set of the movie he did with ryan reynolds it was his first movie he ever did he had no idea what would happen to his life when he started playing percy jackson absolutely not he was a 12 year old little baby child who was on his first movie set he had no idea how that could possibly change his life and now he's seeing how it's changing his life and he's still he just finished his freshman year of high school. <laughs> yeah. like, nobody can handle that well at that age because you're not supposed to be handling things like that at that age. You're supposed to be a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after after all of this, like, it's not really like there's any solution to this. The movie's already out. It's already done. But what what I am thankful for is that while this is happening, he is on the set that we feel is a lot more supportive and that these people have his back. I'm sure a lot of them were like, you know, like you would have been much better in that part anyway, like saying stuff like that to make him feel better.